Well, the anthem's complete. Two proud nations, big Pacific Islanders, thousands of miles away. All focus will be here on Warrington. It's a World Cup quarter-final, a place in the semis up for grabs. It's Samoa against Tonga. It's a Polynesian grudge match for the ages. And now we've got two cultural performances that will blow you away. The Sivatau from Tonga. The Sivatau, sorry, from Samoa. The Sipitau from Tonga. Bring it on. This is Samoa. Old foes, old friends. No love lost. A real quarter final in prospect. Let's have a look at the teams. Tonga, as you might expect, are packed to the rafters with Bulk and Ballas, Jason Tamalolo, and Infanua Blake, Maruka Fotowaika. That is a pack to test any. As for Samoa, well, they tip the scales pretty hardly too. Jason Power, uh, Junior Paolo, sorry. And, uh, 
Royce Hunt, the two front rowers. Plenty of skill in the halves too. Anthony Milford and Jerome Luai are the brains trust. Joseph Sawili is a danger from backfield. Referee for this one, Ashley Klein. Whether he has a job to do or not this afternoon might just depend on how ferocious this gets. And my anticipation is going to get pretty ferocious indeed. Ben Thaler is in the video ref truck. And he will have the final say on a few integral decisions, no doubt, this afternoon. So a moment of togetherness, which uh, kind of jars with the rivalry we've had here. Brilliant cultural performances, really setting the tone. This 2021 Rugby League World Cup has a moment of togetherness, applause around the ground in support of the venture. But very soon, this whistle will sound and there'll be anything but togetherness out there. A place in the semi-finals up for grabs. It's Tonga against Samoa. Joseph Suwili launches it downfield and Tonga will get first dibs of the ball. Alongside me this afternoon, Matt Newsom, former Wales and Great Britain International, Jonathan Can Davis, you know, former England coach, John why? Keir. Gentlemen, the tone has been set. Well and truly. Yeah, it was absolutely fantastic, wasn't it, the build-up to this game, and uh, I don't think they'll let us down in the next 80 minutes. Very, very important that this highly physical battle, whoever comes on top of that, will allow their three quarters to play, so the, the battle up the middle is absolutely vital. Yeah, what an intense start. You know, absolutely crazy, crazy intensity by both sides, and this will be very, very tasty. So here come Tonga. Avili jumping out of acting half. Last tackle here for the Mate Martonga. Lola here with the kick. Want to deal with it at the back for Suwili. He got plenty of cover as he took that one in. And uh, in terms of kick return meters, nobody's had better. 332 in this tournament so far. Not a player you'd generally aim to kick to, gents. No, but the fact is they'll be delighted, Tonga, with that first set. They took the ball forward. Pretty low risk with a good end, and now the challenge is uh, how do Samoa cope with this aggressive Tongan defence? Yeah, two sledgehammers being swung at each other at the moment as those big packs seek to find descendancy. Levi into Suwili, who pops in a little bit of footwork there. The Noah Blake and Tamalolo with the tackle. Levi keeps it moving to Milford. Airborne, one for Tupo. Or should I say, over on that far side, it was uh, Kotaru who took that one in. And again, you know, they make easy yardage on both these sides, you know, there's a great position for the kicker. Look where they are, deep in the in the 20 meter area and work outside. And that's that's the first mistake. And that's this will give now, although it's in the you know deep into the Tongan half, this will give them great field position for their first opportunity of the afternoon. Yeah, very much, Jonathan. You you expect it very much to be an arm wrestle. Early on, set for set. Well, uh, Samoa, with their eagerness, have just allowed Tonga upfield to start with the ball in midfield. So, it'll uh, be interesting to see how Samoa cope with what Tonga throw at them. Kaloa Matangi. Royce moves. Tangling with Samoa. Straight away, Royce. Avili. Kafusi's turn this time. Royce moves. Looking to soften up that middle. Avili busy. Tamalolo, on, route one stuff from Tonga here. Release now, Bang, you? bang, bang. In these first three carries of the set. Havili, now Lola here, short ball onto Colin Tangi. Almost away, he is away. Oh, the ball comes loose. Obstruction. Yeah, he went round the back yeah, of him, he, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Just got a, the timing wrong. You can see what they're trying to do there, they'll try and isolate four men in defence and then the fullback was swinging late just to create a 5v4 situation but just not executed well enough uh, by the Tongan team. That Parish's side have picked themselves up off the canvas after that opening game defeat by England. Find themselves in a quarter final here, Milford on to Paolo. Oh, at the back a little bit loose as Crichton recycles. 
Yeah, they'd be disappointed with their first performance against England. I thought they were disappointing, but you know, they've come off a grand final with a lot of Penrith players. And I think England didn't allow them to play that day. Well, it was certainly a wake-up call, and they appear to have roused themselves since. Taken in by Hunt. It was a meeting of but minds and physical bodies that time. Shudder in contact. Midway inside the Tonga half here. Milford. Short ball on the through. Super break. Oh. Tonga hit the front. Samoa hit the front. Super try, Jaden Tua. He's just sliced Tonga open. And Samoa have the lead. Beautiful play. Beautiful play. Just first attack for Samoa. Milford it is, takes the ball to the line and just picks the right pass. Just beautiful angle by this guy, Sua. Absolutely cut them to pieces, coming back against the grain. Yeah, well, they took full advantage of the penalty, but this is great shape and a great line of run there. He really did pick out to Katoa there, the young halfback who was at the Dolphins next year, and he just bounced onto his inside shoulder and bet the fullback with ease. What an outstanding... Uh, Try there from Jaden Sua. I think the reputation of Sua Lee, the full back, you know, he just came on the outside arc of the back and took the eye line of the defender there and he just allowed that gap on the inside shoulder. Brilliant play, variety, he thought he was going out the back. Brilliant angle, what a start. So Stephen Crichton with the simplest of goal attempts here. Bang in front. Tonga find themselves four points down, could be six. Flying start from Samoa then. They strike first. And Stephen Crichton, part of that Penrith contingent that won back to back grand finals in the NRL, just pops it over. What a start for Samoa. Just in the six gone, and they have the lead. Yeah, fantastic start, wasn't it? Great execution there of, of a play that will have done time after time on the training ground. But the most important thing, this Samoan side took full advantage of that error, that penalty whilst in possession of the Tongan team. Great angle, that is all. What an angle. So Jerome Luai feels the restart. Paolo sucks it under his wing and he thumps into contact. We're going to see hits like that all afternoon. Barreling forward. Tyler May. Move. Pass the line. Adam Wade. Okay, Outside backs trying to spring forth here. Hunt again. Been busy in these early stages. Police release. For this Samoa side. Wait, Levi. Finds Milford. Already opened the door with one slick little pass. And it's uh, the try scorer, Jaden Sewer. Okay, Folded up just short of halfway. Play the ball, four. Have to play that again here. Yeah, four. Here comes Sueli, he not afraid of getting his hands four. on the ball, is he? Well, well the decision's gone against Samoa here. Right. Okay. Well, this is Samoa four. giving a penalty away in possession and it's for leading with the with the knee, I believe. Right, right. Yeah, I think on a, a bang on the head, he stopped it for a head injury, I think he has. Or oh, just leads with the knee maybe and yes. just Cops Kafusi, that's why he was stopped. He's on report for leading. But and, and again, Jonathan, it's whilst in possession, isn't it? Yeah, I know, that's a mistake. It's, it's criminal giving the penalty away when you've got the ball in hand. That's why he makes so much meat, does he? doesn't wait for the ball to come to him. He kind of gets involved in every set, you know, wherever it is on the field. He's always there. On the line, guys! So, Tonga with a chance to examine this Samoa line. Kafusi rattles in. Set themselves a point here. Winding up now with Fanua Blake. Edging closer. Every carry. Chalking up the meters. Katoa. How the back it goes. The hop. What a ball that is! What a finish that is! Daniel Tupo! Trying to turn up the heat! What a reply! Well, we spoke about uh, setting points so that you split the defence six on one side, four on the other. 
they attacked where the four Samoan defenders were and the fullback once again swung late and he came up with it but it's this penalty that gave the field position and both times that Fields is given away they've taken advantage see there four defenders they suck the third defender in Milford and then it's a superb long pass to, to Daniel Tupu who's been finishing tries like that for years he comes in as an extra man it's a bit of a take what the take that is though brilliant finish he's a tremendous player NRL he's been there for a long time with the Roosters beautiful take but what a pass again the extra man the combination 6-7 and 1 creates the overlap on the left hand side and he picks the right pass up but what a take and a finish what a start and again how, how important we've always stressed throughout this tournament you know and it'll get even more important now discipline to give field position you can't afford to give these top class sides opportunities especially John as you said when they had the ball so Isaiah Katoa with a tough kick from the sideline. Dolphins bound in 2023. Another of that Penrith Club's products who have really impressed. As he looks to slot this one over, but it's a toughie. Right out on the touchline. And he would square things up here. After a hammer and tongs. Open in 10 minutes. So Isaiah Katoa launches it. No good. But Tonga in the game. Christian Wolf. Oh, I've uh, been satisfied by that one. Yeah, it's superb play, isn't it? You can see the far man, but the full back of Huati. It's a cracking pass, but what, what wing play from uh, from Tupo. He's held his chalk, he's held his width, and he just reeled that in without breaking stride. But also, what you notice, the, the dummy runners, you know, they run such great lines, they can miss defenders, you make the wrong choice, and you pay the penalty. Well, you have to feel a little bit for uh, Tessie New. Hat trick last time out, but overlooked in favour of Hopawate, and Christian Wolf knows what he's doing, doesn't he? He's, he's, Coming and made an immediate impact. So Potawaika plowing forward. As Tonga do, Kafusi. He's a great forward, Kafusi, isn't he? Yeah, really mobile, really good footwork. Tamalolo, quite the opposite, just a battering round. Oh, six again, another poor discipline. But the challenges, don't they, Jonathan, this yeah. Tongan team, because they carry so aggressively, and so the challenger work within the contact and wrestle area. What a wake up. Oh, it's really good. Leg drive from him. They are just pumping the legs. And marching against Samoa back here. Papawate. Yeah, true that time by Stephen Crichton. Yeah. Great defensive read. He done it once to me, not doing it again, mate. forward with intent here Tonga edging into a decent area here Tamalolo that was a bit of uh, subtlety in the footwork last one here in range Katoa Tupo's gonna leap for this one Tupo gets it all Daniel Tupo almost what out of the back catalogue there from him well, I'll tell you the signal to Samoa, one of their tactics there. And why not when he's so tall, he's got such athletic ability to leap and is great in there. But fair do to Brian Toho, he challenged him and put him under pressure. But that will happen time and time again, Jonathan. They're two great wingers there. You know, if you watch the NRL, they always put it up for Tupu. He is so tall and he's so great in the air. You're right, John, we'll see that again. So will he for oh, this Samoa side at the narrowest of margins after 12 minutes Toto seen his defensive work and he can chew up the yardage as well and he can finish too devastating combination Hunt there for this Samoa team got the ballast, they've got the quality out the back and in Milford, they have got a general, but it's uh, this easily fielded at the back by Hopawate and Tonga will return this oh. with that real 
Yeah, doing the other part of his job there, isn't it? Brilliant. Bringing the ball out from his own end. Not only great finisher and challenger for the kick, but also very good in backfield. Kofusi just yeah. keeps on coming, doesn't he? Offload. Oh, oh, lovely offload. And Moses Shuli is away. And he steams straight into that Samoa line. You know what Tonga are doing here? They're going to just keep running and running and running. Oh, a blind pass into touch. Well, he just he just forgot the two board just in a big, big ball, yeah. Cardi. He thought he was there, he cleared the all a quick play the ball as well. Unfortunately, he just hadn't got there. But once they get a quick rub, they play on the front foot, don't they? They're happy to play on the front foot, yeah. try and strip numbers, but uh, as you've rightly identified, Jonathan, you can't carry the ball the no. previous play and then get in position. No. Well, we knew this would be a slow fest. We knew that these two teams would go after each other with uh, no holds barred and it's in that way dragon rights semi-final place up for grabs but at the moment Samoa have the narrow advantage here place in the semi-finals of the world cup against england who will be watching on enjoying this seeing the uh, two potential opponents smashing each other because Royce Hunt, tackle count's been reset oh, as well. Zero again. I think he played at the ball there, the Tongan play, but they are examining the middle unit of this Tongan, Tongan defence because, yes, it's a strength, but also because the big men, you can work them over and tire them out. So Willie, he takes it into the line. Now they're in range. Setting up for something here. Milford. Plays at the light to Hunt. Oh, it was a crash ball attempt. No look for. Ten away. Tonga under duress here. Milford, oh. short ball. Great tackle. Big <laughs> sound. Oh, really. <laughs> Packaged up that time. Please. Luai. Now Paolo. Bit of a pirouette from him. The big man showing nimble feet. Last tackle, get up, please. It's a big play, this kick play. Luai, oh, he rolls the grubber through. Well taken by Hopawate at the back. That's quality fullback play, isn't it? He positioned him out perfectly, just on the inside of the kicker. So when he dabbed it through, he was there in position. And once again, two post going there. Uh, oh, what's he done there? He's thrown just a, a loose pass. Puts himself under pressure, two post. He thought that maybe he's going over the touchline, just threw a wild pass, puts Tonga under pressure again, just watch. Tries to carry the ball out, they've got him up, they're dragging him, throws a loose pass, he was... He had plenty of time to go before the, the touchline. I would say there's a long way yeah, there long way to go, yeah. If it was. But again, you can see it, he makes so, the yard so, so easy. Every time there's a, you know, a restart, a reset, he's going to put himself under pressure. No, Sisuli saving the day that time. Drop out, dribbles into the hands of Suwili here. Now Paolo will wind up here. This game, Matt, is not disappointing. No. There, there is some collision in, in, out there. There really is. Royce Hunt, not for the first time, trying to plunder some yards from this Tonga team. Levi into Oregon Kafusi. Almost poked his nose through that time. But Suara setting themselves a strong position here. Levi jumping out of acting half. Turns it back on the inside for Sua. He's already got one try. Just held out here. Samoa breathing down Tonga's necks. Milford, Luai. Oh, he's written the challenge. Jerome Luai. Oh, what a step, what a try. Samoa extend the lead. And Jerome Luai. Their playmaker supreme has delivered a huge score. Yeah, an outstanding piece of individual play there from that man, uh, Jerome Luai. But once again, we've got to go back to the error from Tupu. Yep. It was that that gave some more the fit. And as you've rightly pointed out previously, uh, Jonathan, you cannot give field position to quality players. Nope. And that's a needless offload. 
the needless offload has given Samoa that field position and then late in the tackle count this guy he looked to try to close him down but just look at the footwork there against some of the bigger players of the uh, of Tonga on the inside just watch Penasini comes up he knows the danger man he doesn't make the tackle and unfortunately he's got great feet and balance spots the opening and he's away he cuts it just watch Penasini comes up he's made the choice he's got to nail him defenders are over overreading the situation they've gone too far he cuts back against the grain brilliant finish again and the Samoa fans are waving their flags with glee as Crichton looks to tack on the two here. <coughs> the biggest difference for me at the moment, uh, lads, the one, the, the combination of Samoa halfbacks. You know, Milford and Lua are brilliant players, individual players. Against England, they didn't perform. Today, you can see them communicating and organising, and they're playing so well together as a pair at the moment. Crichton with the kick on to that point in just a moment Stephen Crichton pops it over eight point lead for Samoa and when you're playing on the back of the, the pack that they've got Jonathan that gives you John that gives you the field position to, to, to weave your magic oh really it does I mean Milford's had an assist putting the the, the second roller through with Jaden Sua and then this man has just come up with a fantastic it's known throughout the NRL for his ability to take the defensive line on, and that's the reason why his footwork is absolutely sensational. Oh, oh it's another shuddering collision, isn't it? As uh, Roy Sun came off the back fence that time. Drilled up again. Samoa scattering defenders, and then a smart offload. A bit of second phase here for Danny Levi, who had a fine season with Huddersfield opted to return to the southern hemisphere this winter passing him forward again through Oregon Kafusi that time Paolo Milford some shape opening up here maybe for Crichton good tackle from Suli just tossed him to the floor Paolo again lurking on an edge and look where they are already you know, last tackle, deep inside the Tongan half, easy yardage. Last one here, Luai, push that kick in the corner. There's a bit of a cordon there for Will Hopawate, but again, Samoa marching Tonga downfield and making the play out from their own end. I, th I don't think either team are having problems getting the yards from uh, bringing it from their own end, but it's the ones who are showing the... It's the edit count that's doing yeah. this, to tell the truth. Yeah. I think one thing, maybe the line speed could improve on both yep, sides. Yep. The line speed. Yeah, three hours all Tongan. Nothing from Samoa have been squeaky clean so far. Roll ahead, yeah, ran himself down a bit of a cul-de-sac. And then almost split the line. Oh, and then the ball comes loose, and uh, Ashley Kai's yeah. got no problem with that. Play on. I think that's the right call. I think Lollahaya was milking it, trying to go for the penalty and just let the ball drop. Yeah, and he, he can't challenge it as a captain's challenge because the play's got to be stopped. Oh, yeah. But uh, I'm, I'm with you, yeah. He released his arms, didn't he, to, to get the, uh, the penalty. Well, it hasn't worked out. And once again, in midfield, this Simone team. On the back of Lingi Sao's carry, Paolo dropped off that time by Milford. Samoa stalking forward here. Showing real promise. Milford, oh, it's a little chip and chain, almost slipped field his hands. And he's allowed to continue here. Jason Tamalolo. Yeah, that was, you know, that's another tactic. You know, they've checked where the full back was, but an early kick. Kick and chase just got charged down. Well, I, that's the first thing I did, John, to look for the full back. And he was, yeah. was in position, so uh, a bit of a surprise. But once again, the ball hits the ground when Tonga have got the ball. And Moses Suli with an orthodox right. offload, but he gets away with it that time. Harvili takes control at the rook. And Tonga motoring forward here. Adding for Noah Blake. No shortage of meters when he's around. Help! A real ding dong affair, this one. Too fierce. Polynesian rivals, Katoa, oh, the back to Hobawate, Bellringer from Lapai. Great season, Tim Lapai's hat. Great read, great defensive read. But he, Jonathan, as you rightly said, he came up with the player as well. If you jam like that, you've got to come up with man and ball. Tonga didn't, Samoa are doing. Last one here for Tonga, 
Lola Hayes, the orchestrator with the last tackle play, into the corner, patted back by Katoa, has been allowed to bounce, and Jerome Luai just about dives on the grenade. Yeah. Have a ball. Knock on, again, you can see the ploy, stick it up in the corner. Yeah, definitely knock on. That's better defence. Yeah. What do I get in miss with that one? Oh, made a change. Royce Hunt is off. And Josh Pabali is on. And it won't be long before he gets his first taste of action. And here he is. The big Canberra Raiders front rower. Played for Australia, but committed to the Samoan cause. One of those many heritage players who put their hand up. Kafusi was robbed there in the tackle. Somehow kept hold of the ball, but Fotowaika is, is hunting at the moment, isn't he? Yeah, working from, another involvement. Yeah, working from Marco, that's a great offload as well. But the second phase here, Jaden Sewer. Brian Toto, we haven't seen too much of him as a, a tiptoeing wizard, but an opportunity for him now, and what a carry that is! Now he's got Papa Lee into the action, Milford. Oh, he ran into a bit of traffic there. Help! Another offload has been poached. Oh, we'll go back. We'll go back. Yeah, there's someone in back play. Yeah. I think it's a head clash. Yeah. I'm off on the last tackle, Anthony. You'll play the ball. It's Harvili who's feeling the effects, oh, isn't it? Sevilla Harvili, the hooker. Oh, he's got to stop the game. Yes, yeah, uh, when the carry with Toho, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. He just gets his head on the wrong side. Yeah. Just watch it. Any young kid watching, he just gets his head on the wrong side of the tackle. So as he comes back in here, Leeds, just watch him, comes across. I mean, he's just going to come into shot now, number nine, watch. That's it, gets his head in the wrong place, in front of the legs, and he cops him. Yes, I think he's going off for a head injury assessment, the doctor's there with him. Well, he has to. And rightly so. 16 tackles in 24 minutes, so he's, uh, he's certainly putting himself about. Yeah, certain brand of battery might be borrowing him for one of their adverts, so... Uh, if the change is on, Sonny Luke is on. The hooker. Where's Jason is? Enjoy a profitable afternoon against the Cook Islands. Two try assists. Hoops kick from Luai. Underneath it, Tupo. He leaps to the air. Has come loose. Here's Oregon Kafusi. Desperate tackle in the end from Tonga. They're in trouble now at Tonga. Suolihi. Play short to Papalihi. Off on a maraud of his own here. Papalihi. Oh, so close. How false it was it with the try saver there. They are clinging on the precipice here. So Sueli got the pass wrong. It's been oh, offside. Outside. Outside. Into touch and they're offside. Well, breathless fair. <laughs> yeah, well, they'll be happy with that Tonga, though. Still under pressure now, though, John. Yeah, but they were all over the shop. All over they? the shop, yeah. I think I like it. There wasn't a call. This is a great, it's a great up and under. It's just going away, drifting away, and I think it was young Katoa, the uh, yeah. the half back yeah. who, who got in Topo's way, really, and the lack of communication. But it's a set of six on your own line as the result of it. Look at the error count there: seven Tongan errors. That may well account for the scoreboard. Trying to move the ball around here with uh, Pabalihi. Paolo moving it on quickly, not allowing defenders to set. Levi. Samoa throwing the kitchen sink here. Luai out the back. On to Lafay. Lafay powering towards the line. Trying to get the bodies in. The first tackle. Jammed in on this left hand side. Back to Luai. Now Milford. Dropped off into Paolo. What an assault oh, this good. is from Tonga, from Samoa, sorry. Milford with the step. Oh, desperately clung on. Kanua Blake standing in his way. Levi for back in half. Oh, marker six another, again. Another set of six, yeah. Tonga again torched here. Milford to Luai. Suwalihi. Suwalihi. Oh, what a tackle. Oh. What a tackle that is. Oh. They are chucking everything at them here. Shape. Size. Oh. Kafusi spills it. That is a huge, huge relief for Tonga. They were certainly under the cost, and you can see how they're celebrating. Yeah. They know they've got away with one there.
That was magnificent defence, though. If, if Tonga win this game, you know, Jonathan, yeah. we may well look back upon that set of six as the one that turned it because they were really having to work so hard and it came down to this first error that uh, Samoa have made with bomb in hand. This is a tackle. He is such a runner. What a he, and what a tackle that is. David Fafita looking on there. I think he'd be itching to get on the field. We thought he was in there, didn't we? Yeah. So Tonga, Samoa's first there at Tonga have been under duress, but they've got a chance here to lead the breakout, although Katoa was clubbed. Luke, Kerfushi, runs it to Milford, who puts the shot in. To the halfbacks, some more halfbacks today, right? They have gone up a couple of gears from the first game. Oh, it's some defence as well. It was just total lack of regard for his own personal safety. Lapai's turn. Great offload again. So they've got the tails up now, some more. But that, that's what's doing, Matthew, yes, Jonathan. Yes, definitely. This offload game from Samoa is really first class. And also, I just say, we all know how big these you know, Tonga players are, right? That will tire them out. Matthew Kapow is on. So we'll go for the play here. Sewer down this right edge. Last tackle here for Samoa. Up it goes. is going to send one up. Tester at the back here, it comes down a little shallow. Patted back by Lapai. Josh Papali with the kick. Tyler May was he taken out by Katoa. It was ball and oil and everything there. Magnificent. My word, what a good kick that was from the prop form, but what a recovery by Sione Katoa. That was unbelievable. I, I, again, Jonathan, I thought they were in. Yeah, great thinking again by the prop, you know, but just didn't have the touch just to put into the in goal, but what? Great defence as well. Those up and unders are really causing problems for the, the Tonga back three. What marvellous skill Brilliant. that is. To, 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 to get a, a bouncing ball when you've got two Samoans coming round you as well. And to reel it in, that really is a four point saver. They are hanging on you at the moment. They are hanging on. They need a break, Tonga. I tell you what, needs a break. Us. It's great. It's great. <laughs> yeah. Cheers, Matt. Yeah, look, we just sat here with they got the Tongan hull, the rest of the squad on our left, the Tongan fans on the right, and they are living every single play here. You know that. Over on the far side as well, we've been told that there's some fans who have just flown in from America to watch the Tongan team, and they've certainly got behind them and they've needed to there, as they've just seen out that awful amount of pressure there from Samoa on their line. Yeah, real duress. Samalolo almost through. Half break from him as he was just. Oh, and that's it. Away. Big six again. Good run by Tomalolo. Another yeah. reset. Yeah, punishing. And they've got uh, Siwatakiaho on as well. Just to offer an extra bit of punch. Inside that 20 now. Sonny Luke. Kaloa Matangi. Now they can almost stretch out and touch the line from here, Tonga. A try right now would be a good send. Oh, what a shot! Milford again! Milford again! <laughs> this is a halfback, by the way. Fantastic. He wants to get out of the way of this stuff. Luke finds Tokiaho. Now Lolahea. Rolls the kick in. Will chase it himself, Suali, he says. Back that behind and will take the drop out. That's good play from Lolla here, it really is, because that, that's what they need, Tonga. They need to spend some time down in the in the deep in the Samoan half. And again, he's taking the ball at the defensive line, just toe poked it through, and the fullback so highly. I'm not sure about that play, John, because it's too early in the tackle count. They haven't had a lot of possession, right? And I'm thinking the difference at the moment is that the Samoan halfbacks are working as a combination, whereas the Tongan halfbacks are, are working as individuals. Drop out almost to halfway. It's taken in by Hoboate. Tokiaho will be playing at the Catalan Dragons next season. Gets a chance to motor forth. And here comes the newly introduced Ben Murdoch Masilla. Back on the familiar soil here with his Tonga team. Well, well, this is one where the interchanges really have got to make their presence felt. Yeah. Up to the 10 they go now. Katoa gets it away. Suli. He was ankle tapped there by Crichton. But Tonga threatening. So many options, so many ball runners. Tamalolo has to take that high and he's tackled low. Yeah, it's a poor pass there. Take all the momentum out of that uh, movement. Luke for acting half, short ball for Murdoch Basilla. 
Oh, he'd love to score here, ex Warrington. Back row. One last tackle in the set. Luke from Acton Harbour. He's rolled in the kick. Tucky oh! Great kick. Great try. Tucker back in the game. Yeah. Spend time in that area of the field and ultimately you get reward. And that's a superb piece of play from uh, the replacement hooker, Sony Lou. A beautiful piece of play for the big prop forward to cross for his first try. Thank you, brilliant read, good communication, little depth kick. Good communication between the front rowers, brilliant, brilliant play. If you get a kick like that, Jonathan, you've got to be on side because it's the dummy half kicking yeah, it. Yeah. And he threads it through the eye of the needle. And again, some snuff, you know, a great amount of skill once again to reel it in and plonk it down. It's got to be a good skill here because, you know, if you look at the in goal area, it's a very short in goal. Beautiful touch. And they're back in it. And he used the post pad almost as a, yeah. an extra blocker, didn't he? Is he? But again, you can't, through. Through. you can't afford, you know, to reset again. So important. I think it's a brilliant rule, okay? But you can't afford to do it, you've got to keep your discipline. Yeah, you'd almost rather get back, get your line set, than the cop of another six again and risk incurring the ref job. Well, I, yeah, I just thought Tonga have grown into the, the replacements have made an impression. Huge. No doubt about that. They bought that field position, and ultimately that field position has resulted in uh, four, and I would hasten to add it, will probably be six. So the game on once again. It's not disappointing this game. No, you know, it's, it's flowing. It's 33 minutes gone. It's absolutely flowing. But, you know, the size of these boys, you just can't afford to spend too much time in your own 20 meter area. Something is going to give. They are so big and powerful running at you. So Katoa from in front of the posts. Well, we saw a real humding at a hull last night in New Zealand against Fiji. Where Fiji will feel cruelly done by as the Kiwis marched on to the semi-finals. It looks like we're going to get a similar game here. Two points in it, headed towards the break. See what took Yaho with a telling score. Yeah, well, it was one replacement who put the kick in. The other replacement dotted the ball down. And that's what you need from your interchange bench. Impact. Yeah. So, Suelihi back at the middle. The ebb and flow of this quarter final with a swirling, spinning kick which pitches up kindly for Will Pellicini in the end, but had all variations of fortune there, didn't he? Bouncing rugby ball. Oh, I'm a tangy. He's shied away from the good player he is. He's a very good player. He's got hands prior to the line, he's got an offload, and he'll cut the ball up if required. Tokiaho slugs it out, right. <laughs> Bit of crash and bash there with Kelma Tuilangi. Ben Murnum was oh. just leaves his man on the floor. Stompathon from uh, Ben Murnum Masilla. Tom Alonu on the back of that, it's bruising. Oh. It's like shots being fired here. Last tackle. Into backfield for Suilihi. Just couldn't quite stick a leg back into the in goal, but what a magnificent set though. I have to score the try. What a magnificent set to turn the ball over ten metres away from the opposition goal line. Oh, Tom, Tom Lolo's going hunting yeah. there for the big shot. Six again. Yeah, Six again. Oh, he's biting Tonga here. That's eel. Jerome Luai needs to take this by the scuff of the neck. Car things down. Kama Tuilangi with a forthright carry. Equally forthright defence from his opposite number that time. And they are almost up to the 40. Sewer. Three tackles left as well, Matt. Great set. Brilliant charge. Two Elangi again. Meters just being carved up. Probably he would have a footwork. Scrag that time. Lovely oh, no. offload to Elangi. Milford trying to hit them on the edge now with Sewer. Samoa just. Driving forward. Milford, oh, it slipped through his fingers, did it? Still the last offload that time. Jerome Lewis got numbers. Oh, they bumped it. Drop that time, and Lingisau. Yeah, opportunity. I think, you know, they thought he was going to put the, the ball in the air, so I didn't kind of read it. A great transition there, Tonga. As soon as they get the loose ball, they're looking to attack, but. Yeah. Uh, 
half chance missed. She only cut over lead in the charge from backfield here for Tonga. What a game this has been. The pendulum keeps swinging. Oh. So Daniel Tupo okay. this time gets a shoulder in the midriff. Sonny Luke, what to see where Tokiaho looking for an offload. Final minutes of this first half. Overloaded. Oh. And lighting each other up now. Last tackle here in the set for Tonga. Sonny Lou plays out of the back. Colum oh. oh, What a hit on the Tyler May, like a missile. Had to come in. They created a quick play of the ball. They had numbers on the right hand side. Absolutely smashed. What a hit that is. Well, get a bit we, of that into you. We said if you were. Uh, if you read to jam in, you've got to go up with man and ball. I would suggest uh, that gentleman did. That's a winger on a big forward. I don't think the, the, these players kind of belie positions, don't they? They're just beasts. Huge human beings. Final moments of this first half here. Oh, what a contest we've got. What a quarter final this is. Pacific Islands putting on a show. A couple of minutes to go. Milford. Oh, he's got a step in him. But he was uh, accounted for that time. Made up Marcelo Tokio. A lovely pass. Oh, the likes of the Pau. Papali opens up the taps a bit. Inside the 20, last tackle. Shamo wanted to finish with a flourish here. Levi to Luai. What a pass that is. Lavai with the flick. Oh, Tyler Bay. Oh, Tim Lavai. Denied. Well, we've seen him do that time after time at Salford, haven't we? But uh, referee Ashley Klein in perfect position there and ruled that the uh, the offload out of the back there from Tim Lafay went forward. Yeah, definitely forward. Yeah. He's been doing that all year, hasn't he? Oh, he just didn't quite get the execution right, but just ask Joe Burgess. Yeah. He can pass out the back of his hand. That's it. Katoa. Shone Katoa gone back early for the grubber kick and they had spare numbers on the left hand side. So last minute of this first half. We've been royally entertained. There might not be a royal visitor in attendance, but we've got plenty of NRL royalty here. And they have served up some fine rebellion cuisine for us here. Sonny Luke with the kick over the top. Just looking to turn some more around. There'll be no respite though. The ball in play in this first half is ridiculous. ridiculous. Constant, relentless rugby league from end to end. Yeah. Over here, Tyler May playing with fire in his belly. There's the hooter. Plus back to the first half. What the first 40 we've seen. Well, that's been sensational, hasn't it? It has disappointed exactly what we expected. Two forward pass going at each other, hammer and tongue, and some great skill and execution from the backs. Yeah, we expected, you know, the, the physicality of both sides up the middle, but the definitely, I think the half-backs have been good. To Samoa have tacked the Tonga, Tongan edge, and they've got results from it, but, you know, there's hardly anything in this game. What a brilliant first half of rugby league. Yes, anyone's game here, Tonga behind Samoa. Samoa looked in control there for the majority of that first half. Tonga came home like a steam train, but it was Luai with this performance. We said he had to stand up before the game. Yeah, only two points separate them at half time, but you get the feeling that it is Samoa that is the best side. And, and Jerome Luai needed to have a big uh, afternoon out over in Warrington, and he's doing that. A beautiful try there off the left foot twice. All will be revealed. Yeah. Matt Parrish sat on the bench. His side of a narrow lead. You know that lead will be tested. Havili tried to offload, he didn't yeah. get it right. And Angi comes up with it. Why is he trying to you know, get rid of the ball? There's no need for the three men in the tackle. Well, they were the worst enemies in the first half, weren't they? And they repeated it in the Do second half. Yeah. Three men in the tackle there, he's trying to get an offload. Luai. Now marching to Pau. He's a big unit. And he was travelling to Papa Lee out the back. Milford dropped off to Sue. He got it wrong that time. Nice idea, not quite the execution. Yeah, poor communication there. 
But you can see, Jonathan, what they're trying to do is work that middle unit over once yep. again. There's yep. an inside ball to go back against the grain. Oh, Unfortunately for the Samoans, uh, it hit terra firma. Yeah, and it's, as Tom Lolo said, you know, the inside defence was poor in the first half and allowed a couple of tries in. Daniel Trupo wrestling with Anthony Roper there. He retains possession. Off the back of that, there might be a bit of a spring here for Tonga. Here comes Kabusi. Oh, he's got the pass away to Suli. It was behind him. He was always reaching back. Just those bits of detail. Yeah. Just, just overrunning a little bit, didn't he? You know, I don't criticising the wingers. But if he got to hold your line a little bit because he had to break the tackle and then get his hands free. So you just got to hold your run a little bit and it's easy to run onto it. Luai missed pass out to Will's lap by Samoa. Looking to pounce here on the back of that error. Swung back in by May. Luai now onto Tapao. Big Ben from him. Running hard here, Martin Tapao. Samoa on the scrum lines in range. Luai, starting feet to Milford, now Crichton, no, no, look, pass, Toe, the Penrith connection, looking to post some points here, desperately, clung on to that time, Tokiaho and Luke, Levi to Papalihi, taken down, just short, last tackle, big chance here for Samoa, Suwalihi, good hands, so trying to force his way over in the end to the bat. Tom that scrambled well and brought that play to an end. Yeah, good defence from uh, Tonga, but they're, they're bringing it on themselves, aren't they? Once again, they're inviting Samoa to attack their goal line and they're putting themselves under pressure. They need a good set here now, Tonga, just to clear their line, steady set, nothing stupid. Put a boot to ball. These two Polynesian nations <laughs> have had each other's territory over the years. And now they're playing out their rivalries on a rugby league pitch. And every time they do, they've had four years in the waiting for this. Since the last time they met in Campbelltown. And they are relishing it. Being reunited. Lola here with a kick. Good kick. We'll be very happy with that, uh, Jonathan Walter, the Tongan side, because it's, it's released that pressure valve, bought them some territory, but now they need to invest their energy in restricting Samoa. Right. Into centre field, they'll come. Lafayette is. Came off a building site to play for Samoa, uh, for Solvatore last season, and himself a recall after injuries within the squad. Very tell story. Levi finds Crichton. Boy, oh, that was a direct carry, wasn't it? Yeah. And they're picking out the 14 for Tonga. They really yeah. are. It's only Luke. Yeah, he'll have sore shoulders, won't he? It's so really he runs into uh, Lola here oh, that time. You have the halfbacks, the pivots, the schemers are the ones who are getting targeted. Luai, miss pass, Lafay with the kick. Not fielded at the back that time. And what a breakout this could be here. Will Hopawate couldn't slip the cover tackle in the end, but what a kick return. Yeah, well, I, th I think he called Jerome Luai offside, yeah, didn't he? he and, did, uh, he did. And he responded to the referee's call and that, uh, that allowed Hopawate to get those easy yards. For Peter's on, Tupo. Bumps into contact, Tokyo keeps it alive. Moses Suli. They're pushing the pass, aren't they? Yeah, they don't want to get spooked by the scoreboard. Hop Wadi's looking in a bit of strife at the moment. Well, he's found it difficult all season to get on the field regularly for St. Yeah. Helens, hasn't yeah. it? It's that restart here for Tonga. Better man up Masilla. That's a up. settler. So, Sonny Luke. Into Katoa, Hello, Matangi. The feet is on as well now, watch out. He's lurking, isn't he? He's, he's winding up for this one. He'll go inside to Kerr, uh, to Tokiaho instead. Samoa being stretched here. Luke stuck in the tackle. Katoa. Oh, great well, tackle. he was almost in the line there, wasn't great, he? Milford. Great tackle, though. He's played really well, Milford, hasn't yes. he? He's always pumping himself up with every challenge. Pepita gets the pass away. Penasini 
Awful lot for uh, Katoa to do. Penalty. Yeah. Near yeah, your own way offside. Well, that, that's an indication of, of their wariness of David Fafita. He was straight off the line. There he goes. Look. He's having another dig, isn't he? Samoa put the bodies in the line. In the way. Roadblock. Papawate. Went to Kalama Tangi. Shredding out meters. Luke has a peak. It's a Tokiaho. Nakatoa, ball in all tackles. Offside. Said again. Again, Ping for getting off the line. Too sharp. They really are, yes. Go. And Murder Masilla's just it's taking exception to uh, a little bit of the action. It'll be interesting to see, though, uh, Jiffy, after this, whether they go for the two points to tie the score or they just keep rolling on because Samoa have been under intense pressure the last few minutes. Yeah, I think they've got it. Just a tap and go, I think. Nearly 50 minutes uh, before the first flash point. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they've got those the fans behind the post. Here we go. That's the shot it's good hit from Milford. Now they're going for goal. Yeah. Christian Wolf stony faced. With his side, have the chance to square things up here. What a cracking game this is. Yeah, brilliant game. Absolutely caught this is. And uh, England will be rubbing their hands, you know, because uh, this will take some energy out of whichever team gets through. Yeah, the Emirates Stadium lies in wait for one of these teams, as do England. Anthony Milford not missed a tackle yet. And he's been bending his back all afternoon, it's fair to say. The tower just trying to clear the old airways before he boots this one. He's taking the fairway back, yes? Yes, I agree with you. Let's see why he took it that far back. So both sets of players just taking in a, a good a good lungful after what's been a really frantic start to the second half well I hate to tell them but they've another 30 minutes of this <laughs> yeah no respite lads this is uh, nearly a mini break Katoa taking his time as is his want so Isaiah Katoa Penrith Jr who will head to the Dolphins in 2023 a bright future in the game, most likely. That's the chance to square things up here. The rain has subsided at the Halliwell Jones. The kick is good. 12 points apiece. Half an hour to go. And so we start again. Well, we thought it was going to be a close game, didn't we? They both started off quite slowly in the tournament. And now this game... They've certainly come alive, building up as they go through the tournament, the big semi-final against England on Saturday for the winner. And the Warrington public have really come out in force, a proper rugby league town that has respected the just how important this game is, just how exciting and entertaining this game will be, and they have voted with their feet here this afternoon. Yeah. Strong crowd. Great rugby league area isn't it you know you've got witness warrington good supporters both clubs you had to say that though, Jim, didn't you? Yeah, it's, again, it's true though he hunted down in the pubs <laughs> milford once again leading the line and yeah, he's played really well he's played excellent luke on to uh, kokiaho slamming in luke moves it on Loma Tangi again, he's uh, yeah. like a tank, he just keeps coming. The yard is up in there, you know, it's just so, they, they churn up the yards. You know, maybe line speed's questionable, but... So Lola here with the kick, end over end into the corner. Also, oh. he allowed it to bounce, oh! He was well, dicing there. He it was, was because there was a chase from the winger, wasn't there? And could have bounced anywhere, John. It could. And then all of a sudden it becomes 50-50, but uh, fortunately for... 
So Elahi. I tell you, it's a good kick because if he catches that right, the someone's up running, he's bowled into touch. So I took the chance and it came off for him. So Samoa will have to play out from their own end, and it's Junior Paolo. All square here. Placing the semi-finals up for grabs to take on England at the Emirates Stadium in London. Home ground of Arsenal Football Club. An elite stadium for an elite game. Oh, Samara throwing the offloads here. Well, was, 20 out for their own line. It was very effective in the first half, but the worth quite a risk is that. For Peter and Murdoch, Marcelo hunting that time. That's, this is the best defensive yep. set by either side so far, clearly. Just see a little bit of an arm wrestle, just going Tonga's way at the moment. Luai, now the back to Milford, oh he's got a bit of speed about him. Yeah, he wanted to hit the edges then, he won't get in any yardage in the middle. But what about what about the kick pressure here because it's on the sideline? Yeah. Luai will come down on the 30, Papawate patched it. And that's that's the reward, Matt, for that investment in energy defensively, and also Samoa having to kick from a sideline. Now they'll try and open up the field, perhaps. Trupo. Popwart, he's definitely looking. He's struggling. Yeah, he's going off now. Luke into space, spins the pass for Kuku for Kufusi, and he will chudder his way forward. Oh, what we proved play back for here? Obstruction call, is yeah. it? Yeah, around the back of the plane, I believe. Now, does just, Samoa just go for two, Jonathan? Or do they put it in the corner after no, he's being in, under the cosh for so long? He's in front of the play of the ball when he when he was yeah. played, so it's a penalty. He said he can't play on this. Let's just have a look. See where he is. Number 11 there. What? I thought that was a bit harsh on reflections. He, he didn't actually play the ball, did he? On, on, on that angle. It, that was an offload. Yeah. Maybe think, it would have been the previous one. It must have been the previous play of the ball. So that was definitely an offload. Well, thankfully the players have just said we'll get on with the yeah, game. Respect the referee, yeah, yeah. good. Kama to Ilangi. Never seen a referee change his mind yet. <laughs> Except for the TMO. Setting themselves a point here. Paolo. Pabalihi. Oh, it's the ballast that is being unfurled here. Levi. Now Luai. Skillsters. Speedsters. Ball through for Milford, well taken by Katoa, sent behind his own dead ball line, it'll be a drop out. And Samoa really pushing the the envelope here. And that is, you know, they are building as a as a halfback pair. No, look at this. Good communication. Keeps the pressure on. Get the ball back. Time for Tonga to sweat. Under their own posts, drop out to come. Samoa squeezing. Levi takes the pass. Brian Toto will come in off this right side. And it's those legs that drive and backing in. He's got his side a penalty as well. Take the two points. The adventurer surely would say have a, a dig at the line. I think the uh, the game management says take the kick the, at the, the post. The pragmatist. Yeah. Yes. Well, you know, in any quarter final, oh. all you, all the intention is is to end the semi final. If you win by one point out of 101, you're just in the semi final. So, uh, no matter how you keep that uh, scoreboard ticking over, keep it ticking over. Christian Wolf barking into his uh, little microphone there. Stephen Crichton. He's got the T. I think he wants some refreshment first. Well, that kind of game. It's interesting, both kickers who've taken penalties this uh, half, Jonathan, they really are taking the full minute, aren't they? They're just to get some they oxygen are. back into the lungs. It's an intense part in the middle. So Stephen Crichton... I'm taking a breather. We'll have a bang at goal from here. Taking a scrum cap off as well, as many kickers do.
This just to edge. So it was Samoa back in front again. There's a pensive, anticipant crowd here at Warrington. Waiting for this one to go. Box back on. And Stephen Crichton edges Samoa back in front. It might well be a nip and took a bear, this one. It's going to be very tight. But I believe uh, John I mean, it's a great kick, isn't it? You know, un under that pressure. Uh, but I certainly believe there's uh, at least a try and two more to come because uh, there's bound to be some fatigue uh, set in with the effort that both sides have put into this game. A grudge match for the Pacific Islands. Swanga Samoa always brings with it ferocity and intensity, and we have not lacked for any. And it's just two points in it. Samoa off the kickoff. We're going to build from deep here. George Papalihi. What a talisman he is. Barrel chested prop. Come oh. to Ilangi, who's also finds himself on the receiving end of a couple of razor sharp shoulders. So Ali. He oh, he ran at Sonny Luke. Yeah. He's away. Here comes Joseph Suwalihi. Oh, he's taken down by Katoa, but he's given Samoa such a platform here. Yeah, they've really picked Luke out, and then it worked out that time, but. Uh, Last tackle, Milford sends up the kick, Crichton came to chase for it, it will fall to Brian Toho, and Brian Toho pops it down, a score perhaps for Samoa, and it's confirmed by Ashley Klein, well the kick was missed, Brian Toho had the easiest of finishes, and Samoa stretch out their lead. Well, so Ali, he just runs like a, like a back row forward. He pops up all the time, you know, takes it first, man. What a run this is. There he is again. He picked him out. Luke he runs over the top of him again. He just goes. Just such a powerful runner. Keeps on going, keeps on going. They haven't got time to get back. But this it, next play is almost in slow motion, does, Jonathan, yeah. isn't it? You know, the ball's over the top. It looks, well, we've solved that. Yeah. Well, you haven't. Well, if, yeah, the two blockers went to look after the guy who's catching the ball. Unfortunately, Tubu wasn't in the position to catch. Just watch. He's, they're not sure. They don't communicate. Tubu doesn't come for it. The blockers stay there. The ball bounces and then Toho's through, you know. Big, big couple of minutes for Samoa. Very much so. And this kick, this is absolutely vital. Takes it out yeah. to eight points, two scores. Really will put pressure on... Uh, the Tongan team for the last quarter of the game. Yeah, cometh the hour, cometh the man, Brian Toto. And a kick from Stephen Crichton to open up a two score lead here. And the Samoa players just waiting. The Warrington public have been treated. It's a glorious rugby league here so far. Crichton composing himself, drills it through. Emphatic kick, eight points the lead. Samoa really putting their hand up in this quarter final. Well, there he is. They both block. Tupus doesn't get under it. Poor communication for me. Ball just rolls along to an easy try for Toa. And now the next score is very, very important. Even this early in the game. Well, Tonga have called for the cavalry. Adam Fanua Blake back on. Lola Hair goes long with the kick. Toho will field it. Paolo will come off the back fence. Oh, it was bulldozing stuff. Well, for, well for me, Matt, it's some always to lose now. Yeah. It they, really is. Well, they've got, they've got the A-team on now, haven't they? You know, they got... The feet there, from alone who's on together, two of their big, big ball carriers. But some more really, really got their tails up now. Yeah, Royce is stretching every senior to look to blast his way through. Danny Levi picks off the back of that. Great set again. 
great set here. Big momentum here from Samoa Papali. Oh, was he clobbered high by Kafusi? Yes, he was. So, penalty goes Samoa's way. Eight points the ball game. Kyle Amor, what have we spotted? Yeah, look, Matt, Jiffy's mentioned there about Tonga bringing the air game back out, but what about Samoa as well? They've just reintroduced Royce Hunt as well, alongside Papa Lee, who's just won that penalty, and adding into that Junior Paul, who's terrific in, the, in his first in, 30 metres played, 110 metres with the ball, goes three back on the field. I expect this to be a strong finish from Samoa. Can't aim all down, that pitch side will hear from him throughout. So it's a tap from Crichton. Big set for Tonga, this. Yep. Under real duress now is Jaden Sewer. They are so close to stretching out here. Royce Hunt. Oh. He has brought the noise off the bench here. Having started the game, he's back on. Suwalihi. Oh, they're in. Oh, maybe. What a shot that was. Back to zero. Yeah, back to zero. Luai. Has he seen the cocked arm of Ashley Klein? Here comes Paulo. I thought it was a great selection, wasn't it, from the Samoan coach, Parrish. You know, to put... What's his name? Him on first, you know, the one you just... Royce Hunt, yeah. Royce, yeah, uh, yes. come on first, he said, you know, he, he deserved, or he's lost. Oh, no, no, yes. They've lost it there. Royce. It's definitely going off here. Kafusi and Sua. Well, it's... <laughs> This is a test match. This is a rivalry. This is what it means. But it's the last thing Samoa, Samoa just need this to continue set for set. It's it's Tonga that need the, the inspiration, whether it's from a, a, a dust yeah. up or whatever, it's them that need the inspiration. I told you, Roy Center's been brilliant, hasn't he? And then coming off coming off the bench, Papa Lee he has been good with the offloads as well, running at tired defenders. Good selection. Shoulders rattling in, Crichton, you can always hear the thud of bone on bone and muscle on muscle, set restart. I suppose it's Suli coming out of backfield here. Still plenty Avili. of time though, still plenty of time for Tonga. Adding for Noah Blake, pounding away on this summer line that time. Eight points in it, Habili, Kaloma Matangi. Yeah, right. Making those runs, right, making incisions. Lola here to Tamalolo. Captain's knock here, maybe. What a carry that is. That's that what is, you do. That is a captain's knock, that. Right into the teeth. Havili onto Fotoaika. Now they're in their range. Centre field. Lola here. Away he goes, kick into the end goal, it will be taken behind the line. Samoa, safety first there from Tyler May. It, and the correct decision, but what a set that was, and it was all on the back of the Jason Tamalola, wasn't it? What a carry that was. And it's allowed uh, Lola here on the last play just to dab it into the end goal and get a repeat set to build some pressure. Rain hammering down here at the Halliwell Jones. It won't dampen Samoa's optimism. And it won't, certainly won't dampen those Tonga fans' optimism. I think it could be 100 nil and they'd still be cheering. It's not, though. Oh. Jamaica. Well, there was a gasp from the crowd there, wasn't there? <laughs> Thunderous. And if a Blake, oh, he just bumped his man, Jaden Sewer, that time. Stampede here from those in red. It looks a little bit aimless there, though. They seem to lose a bit of shape. But they are in position. Watch your at that time. Tamalola winding up for something here. Short ball to Fanua Blake. So close. Samoa on red alert here. Harvili, Tamalolo. Great tackle. Last tackle, get right. Just said. I'm a roadblock here, you're not coming past. Now Lola here. Oh, it's been charged down. Chance, chance. Oh, the Milf is away, Anthony Milford. Sprinting clear. Couldn't get the pass out, but he's taken the tackle. Yeah, that last play from Lola here, if he played it in, came up, with, came up Trump, Sid Milford. No full back at home here. Tim Lapai. 
Calm down. Samoas. Saunter forward, but uh, he does really well there, Milford, doesn't he? he does. Tries to dab it through, he plays it his left foot, regathers. You, you can see because the belief coursing through this Samoan team's uh, veins now. They really fancy this. Yeah. Danny Levi playing off the back of monstrous carries, quick rooks. Properly here that time. Into Levi, to Paolo. Luai, oh, what a line! Oh, back against the crane, Lingisau, but he was melting. Yeah, have that. Back to Luai. Sends up the kick, trying to make this a contest. Patted down Crichton, pass out to Tall. Oh, so it's the goalkeeper's block there, down in the corner by Daniel Tupac. It's a great pass, Lowe's Tour. It's a fantastic game, isn't it? Oh, a brilliant game. Jayla, move right. Got to hold right, see ya. And again, Toe there. I think he thought all his Christmas had come at once then. But, oh, uh, Milford's hurt there. Yeah, he's limping. But it adding for Newark Blake. Twisting his way through the tackles. Fucked in the legs. My Paulo, is he? Gets to his feet gingerly. Tomalolo. Wrecking ball stuff from him. Samoa coping with it well. Last tackle really limited the yardage here. Harvili with the kick. Has he overcooked that one? No. No, oh, what a bounce. What a bounce. He got in the head to Ali. He was like, he please comes. go over the dead ball line. Oh, what a carry that is as well. Let's <laughs> say he's got kick return meters for fun. And that's why. That's all Samoa are going to do now, is just get the ball and get it out and finish a set, get a good kick on. They don't need to do anything stupid or anything loose, no offloads, force Tonga to come and do the, the offloads. Jason, let go! Luai, Crichton should I say in that one, Luai lurking out the back, but Oregon Kafusi scratched as he was almost away, last tackle. Now Milford, he's going to run it here, Anthony Milford. Now he puts the kick in. But it's making Tonga play out from their own end and the kick chase is just as good. Just what they have to do. Yeah, we're sitting the value of having proper generals, aren't you, in terms of your halfbacks? Oh, Milford and Uai today have been very, very good. Both sides have the pack. But it's about the brains, trust behind it. And at the moment, the Danny Samoans moves. are winning that battle. Oregon yeah, both way. parks have done exceptionally well against each other. But it's just at the moment, Samoa and half backs have just made the difference for me. Follow that time with a rattler. Potuaika. <laughs> just straight up the guts of this yeah. Samoa defence that time. There's that Kono Amatangi with a kick. And that's the difference the for me. That's the difference for me. And uh, May, and Suali almost got in a pickle there. And Taylor oh. May has just about kept himself in the field of play. That was important, that was really important, that. Because as uh, Jonathan said, all, all Samoa needs to do is keep carting it forward, complete the set, end well, and, and then it, front up in D. And, and it, uh, the game's theirs. I think early in the tackle count, Lola Haya is standing so shallow. You know, there's so much space behind now for... A little kick through for Samoa. Here we go, 20 metres away. Samoa have a couple of tackles left in the bank here. Luai, turn back on the inside for Kafusi. He's been good as well. Motoring. Samoa wanting to put this game a little further away. Levi, lovely late offload there. Testing the old middle players again. Last tackle here for Samoa. Milford, Luai. Kick. Oh, the grubber kick was posted oh. through. Oh, the foot race is on here. And Kaloha Matangi just didn't have the gas, but right place, right time for Tonga. Again. Six again. Set restart, picking up the back of that. Moses Suli has done the gas. What a pass. Katoa saw Sione Katoa. They could strike from anywhere. And they just have Tonga back in the game. Sione Katoa. But what a break that was, Moses Suli. What a difference, you know, one poor kick into the legs, 
on a switch from defence into attack. What a brilliant, brilliant counter-attack try that is. Well, the, tra the transition, Jonathan, is tremendous, isn't it? There we've got Finley in the kick, and Dolomatanga knew he hadn't got the legs, but just look at them then. Pour forward. They've what? got Samoa on the back, but they're just pouring forward with support. And there he is on the shoulder, and there's the post, and it's straight underneath them. That's a brilliant, brilliant try. Absolutely brilliant try. Good support play as well. Sione Katoa, great support play. Came off his wing, saw the opportunity. Two great forward bursts. There is no game on. Precious, precious score for this Tonga team who just fell. The game is creeping away from them. So eight and a bit minutes to go. Katoa is good with the kick. Two-point ball game. What a climax we're going to have to this quarter-final. What a game. What a game we've had. It's had absolutely everything. What a game. What a run. You know, there's been some great skill. There's been some great toughness up front. And there's been from both sides, Jonathan, just a sheer desire to win. And uh, it's just great to see such competition. This is it. Samoa still two points in front and the right minutes to go. Yeah. It's, well, it's anyone's game, but you'd rather be two points up. Well, one team's going over the Emirates for next week, one team's going home. Who's got the uh, the will? Yeah. There's no time for second chances. Seven oh. and a half to go. Rain teaming down here, but it will not dampen the spirits, it will not quell. This oh, remarkable oh, quarter-final oh, here. The Emirates lies in wait. Good feet to that time. Crunching forward. Harvili oh, waits it out in half. Will Tonga get the momentum in this game? Will it take them close? Hey, hey, David, Tonga David. did it against Papua New Guinea, didn't he? They did. Oh. Samoa never been to a World Cup semi-final. I'll tell you, he's been tremendous, he hasn't has. he? Yeah, there are a few players on both sides that don't deserve to be a loser. One of them will, one side will have to be. I have to get your thoughts on your player of the match very shortly for both of you. A combined decision. Good luck. I know. <laughs> Especially with the game in the balance as it is. Two points in it. Perhaps Mason, the, the semi finals up for grabs here. That, perhaps the man of the match is still to be revealed. One piece of magic. Oh. Yep, there's a game breaker lying in wait, I'm sure. Six and a half to go. Milford to May. This time, Lafayette takes the tackle. Tonga have found extra spirit, haven't they, in this? Buoyed by that score. And the ebb and flow of this wonderful game. The brawn and beauty. Yeah, over the sideline now, right near. Milford will send the kick downfield. Off for airtime underneath it, Tupo. That's a good chase, that from Samoa. Yeah, look at the Tongan forwards walking yeah. back you now. Fatigue is setting in. Katoa, do I? Oh, should I say lower here onto Katoa? He's certainly got plenty of energy left. Lola here. Great Sahar support. Lola here drops it off. Fafita. Still got tackles left in the back here, haven't they? No, yeah. He's marching up the field. Oh, Lola here spilled it. Took his eyes off the ball and yeah. saw the man. Crichton was coming in again. Great spot by Crichton. He's had a strong game, hasn't he? Has. He has. But what a spot that is. Realise who the ball player was. Oh. So just under five to play. Watch that Tonga's chance. 
They're up and at them again here. Chanel yeah. Harris, to me, just had to be patient. He's on now for some more. Oh! So, oh. Kane Cullum and Tangy came under for Sal. He's still going here, Milford. Came off second best there, he did. Absolutely came off second best. Papa Leahy will play it. Harris to Vita. Skips one way. Swings back the other, and here comes Junior Paolo. Samoa have the lead by just two points. Yeah. Chanel Harris Tavita. Now Milford. One try would kill this off. Suilihi with the hands. Great scramble from Tonga. Still going. He takes some putting down, this mate. Big last play, this one. Luai. Oh, we've gone back to the short side. Luai with the feet. Might just take it by the scruff of the neck. Kick it to the end goal. Oh, take it to the high to Waika. Great kick. Great play from Luai, wasn't it? Brilliant play, that's it. Broken broken field, right? He is just fantastic, isn't he? Well, he spotted the short side, they just switched off, hadn't they? Yeah. So he went back at them, and there's a manufactured kick for the uh, the last play that Fafid's had to oh, put over there. Oh, look at that. He came off second best there, didn't he? Yeah. Kolomotangi, and he was injured for a bit. I thought Luai was going towards him. Chanel Harris to Hold here. And Samoa. Looking to apply the final blow, perhaps here. And again, it's Louise. Moving right here. Adam they White. are White. in range again. Suilihi tried to take it upon himself oh, no. to guide Samoa to those semi finals. Wants it to play it again. Harris Tavita, back Pabalihi. Milford run himself down a cul de sac. It's almost a surrender tackle. Yeah, I thought he was going to go. He could get pulled for obstruction. So he just offloaded. Probably he went down. Milford back to Paulo. Oh. Paulo pumps one up. Paulo driving for the line. It's not very often you see that. Tomololo put on his, on his backside. Clock's been stopped. Right, well, we've got a break in play. Perfect time to get your player of the match, gentlemen. Well, it's just been brilliant, you know, Ian. Swalili's been fantastic. Luai's been fantastic. But the guy for me who's pulled all the strings, and John, is Anthony Milford. I think he's been brilliant. You know, he's, his yardage is ridiculous. He's got 116, he's got 26 tackles, 19 carries. And organised the team. Organised the team. And, and de defensively, he's been superb as well. And that's why Luai's, you know, been able to play well as well, because he is organised, got the kicking game in. But it could have been anyone from those three, to be honest. So Anthony Milford gets the Kazoo Player of the Match award. And uh, a penalty oh. that Ashley Klein's calling for here yeah. for Tonga. Or oh, the caddy there. So Anthony Milford, there he is, Kazoo Player of the Match. I tell you what, this is not finished yet. <laughs> this is not finished yet. Two point in it. Tonga go for touch off the penalty. Composure needed. Big finish needed. Samoa have a foot in the semi finals at the Emirates. But Tonga want to snatch it away from them late on here. They were denied in Auckland in 2017. In the very last minute. Yeah, they go. Can't be a second time unlucky again for them. Kafusi. It's all a bit lateral that time. But they will come again here. Habili. Had it for Noah Blake. Slugging it out. On this Samoa defensive line. Plenty of shape on that right hand side. Tomalolo. Lolahea. Squeeze the pass out. They're away down that short side. Tonga. Oh. Oh. Defied by Samoa again. Well, the semi finals on this. There's one play in the semi finals on this. Peeled off the turf. Christian Wolf can scarcely oh, oh, six again. No, what a call that is. Restart here. Penicini hits the huge deck. call. He'll play it inside the 10. Just over a minute to go. Tonga can't panic, but they also can't mess about here. No, that's a huge call that is. Samalolo. Oh, it's just like Auckland 2017. Short ball for Futuaika. Samoa. Squeezing every last drop of energy out.
Tongalai was it. Jansson, Jansson. Way to that short side, Colin Matangi. Folded up that time. Lola here. Rolls the kick. Bounces back to Lola here. Julian Paulo's come over the ball. And that's it. That is it. Up your jumper. Christian Wolf side. Yeah. We're going to miss out here. Slow play the ball, just make sure you don't get the ball stolen, that's all. That's it, you're one on one, you can steal. Get up. Chanel Harris Tavita plays it. It's going to be one out. Slow as you like, carries from Samoa. Inside the final 10 seconds then. Never been to a World Cup final before, semi final before. Samoa are there in 2022, the 2021 Rugby League World Cup. They have upset the form book. Tonga are out. Samoa march on. Matt Parrish's side will play England at the Emirates and next fully, Saturday. And they will be a, they will be a different proposition, won't they? From you know the first game they have built on through the tournament. Yeah, and I think they fully deserve today's win. The combination halfback was a difference. They controlled the game. What a brutal, brutal encounter. But I just felt some more deserved it. Absolutely fantastic game of rugby league. Well, if it was a painting on a canvas, you've seen the brutality, but you've also seen the finesse. It's been an absolutely sensational game. Two teams totally committed. And at the end, they're both out on the feet. But Samoa just had enough. What a great game of rugby league. Every sinew, every lung full of oxygen. Well, he must be delighted with that. Pardon? Can you tell us your reaction? You must be delighted. Yeah, I am. The whole team is, the whole nation is. We should be very proud of uh, those young men that just play footy. It's, um, yeah. it's a massive turnaround from that opening game. We don't want to go over that, but I mean, you've, you've obviously come a long way since then, haven't you? This tournament was never about the first game, it's about the last game. You guys made it about the first game. You still talking about that first game, man? Not really. This is all part of it. Again, we were never going to be at our best first game. As I said, it was always about building through the tournament. Um, you know, if we want to keep going through it, which we, I've been through it numerous times, obviously the scoreline wasn't great. Things didn't go our way. We lost three or four players in the game. England were unreal. We were pretty ordinary. What more can we say about it? We've Milky, moved on. Milky's been playing for Samoa for a long time. Is that, the, is that the, I suppose, the highlight or the best moment? Yeah, by far. Yeah, was, um, obviously, tonight we created history and for our small nation. Um, couldn't be more proud of the boys. You came, the way you came out, you, you got the jump on them, you came out with, I suppose, you looked like you had a lot of confidence and self belief. Um, you just tell us about, I suppose, where where that came from and what was driving it? I think June set the tone um, during the week. We didn't want to get beat on effort and um, just wanted to look after each other out there tonight and make sure we played at our best and I thought we'd done that really well tonight. And um, Yeah, as I said before, I couldn't be more proud of the boys. Those last couple of minutes we said you didn't want to get beat on effort ever, but like the, I suppose the effort there was enormous the, um, the pressure that you had to defend. Yeah, um, like I said, June's touched it on during the week. We didn't want to be beaten off and just wanted to keep each other accountable and make sure we looked after each other tonight and I thought we'd done that at a pretty high standard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Joseph Samali, incredible tonight. What have you made of working with him? Sorry? Joseph Samali tonight had some incredible run, really got you guys out of trouble in the backfield. What have you made of him, you know, working with Drew in the last couple of games? Yeah, he's a freak, um, no doubt about that, but I think he's got, um, he's just building. Um, he's only going to get better, so. Uh, yeah, sky's the limit for him. Do you know how much do you make him just feel for you every line going off out there? Yeah, um, you know, the emotions are, are through the roof. Um, I think just listening to that now, it's pretty surreal for us. Um, you know, both, both teams can be proud of what they achieved um, over the course of this whole week, or pretty much over the course of the tournament, because we're seeing both cultures celebrating um, quite proudly all over the world. Um, and I think that's part of our job about being role models within our, our communities. And, um, you know, we, we talk about it all the time about inspiring that next generation. 
and you can definitely be proud and, and say that they are it's heading in the in the right direction for us. Can you be surprised to be put on the court and you're worried at all? Um, not really. I was quite surprised with the with the penalty in, in general and and where it was with how long we had left. But um, yeah, uh, things are out of um, out of our control and we just knew that we just had to keep turning up and keep producing those uh, little one percent efforts. Junior, is this what you dreamed of? This sort of reaction and atmosphere when you, you know, made the decision to commit to playing for some off? Uh, I wouldn't say dream of it because it was bound to happen. Um, how we've been building over the past couple of weeks is certainly what's created that. Um, the group that we've got downstairs in the sheds, you know, we hate touching on it, but that first game was never an indication on the belief that we had on the group. We just knew we just had to get some footy in, in us and we we're going to keep building each week. And um, We've seen over the last couple of weeks, we keep building in our performances and, and that's exactly the direction we want to be heading. Matt Joseph just brought the as well, I think, for looking at your knees. What you make that? Oh, I'd be surprised if anything came of that. Yeah. He was unbelievable, wasn't he, for a 19 year old kid, his performance. Mm. Um, what do you feel from him? Oh yeah, he's been unbelievable for our group. He's for a young man. He's been well schooled, well educated, and he's um, very professional. And, and he's certainly, I think he's enjoying the, the ride at the moment, which is good. Can you want to talk about him as a fullback? Um, <laughs> he's a pretty good cool one tonight. What is it? Yeah, he's a pretty good one, isn't he? I think he'd be good in any position you put him in. You know, he's um, as Junior said, he's a professional. He's yeah, he's certainly got a long career ahead of him, which is going to be exciting to watch. And to think that, uh, you know, he's been part of this, you know, I'm pleased for him too, because obviously, you know, he could have chosen to play for Australia, obviously, and uh, he committed to Samoa like a lot of these young men, which is uh, very pleasing. And, yeah. Matt, there's a lot of pressure on you, quite a bit of criticism you How do you feel today? Taking some of the semi I don't worry about criticism. But though I'm just proud for this group for what they've done. Um, as we know, we we knew what we had to do was it you know, uh, you know, we've improved as the competition's gone, so it's pleasing to be part of this group. Uh, I've got a lot of good coaches helping me, DJ and uh Radders too do an amazing job which I'm sure everyone had acknowledged in, in our group. So um, you yeah, know it's it's pleasing for everyone involved. What do you make of England's uh, progress in the tournament? <laughs> to be fair, I've only watched one game. It was the first one. It was pretty good. But um, you know, they've you know they're the home nations. They're, you know, obviously down to the last four, so they've done pretty well. And they've won pretty convincingly in all games. So, yeah. Junior, the, the before the game, the Sippy Tower and the Sippy Tower. Is there any conversation between the two sides before to sort of coordinate because it was a pretty amazing spectacle and sight but I mean um, do you know what they're going to do or, or is it or is it all both done in, independently you know yeah no nah, they were uh, heading out to the coin toss um, you know there was talks about who was going to go first and I just spoke to Jace um, briefly about and just asked through the question out there if we wanted to do it together I think um, it's a good Sign of unity, unity, um, unity between the two nations and and the support over um, rugby league in general. Um, you know, I think uh, it's a really proud moment, and uh, for myself too. Um, my partner's Tongan, so I've, um, the kids are uh, half and half. So it's always going to be a, a tough conversation um, about who to support. But I think that's the best part about celebrating both both cultures. Just a word on Tim Lafay, obviously brought in late because of the injuries and he's played in the big games. Uh, have you found his progress in this tournament? Great. He's probably in career best form. He's been, uh, he's a good fellow, Laf. He was obviously with Tony in 2013 here. Uh, he certainly had, um, you know, roller coaster, uh, you know, ride. He's a, certainly a talented player and as I said, he's in career best form. He's slotted straight in from week mm -hmm. one. There's a couple of his club teammates in that England squad who really know him a little bit this week. Um, yeah, oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah. 
believe I could as well, because obviously he'll be coaching against these kind of players. He'll be, <laughs> will he be a big part of preparation? He will be. It's one of the reasons he's there. He's a big part of our preparation, Redders, and uh, yeah, no, I'm sure he's, you know, he's uh, looking forward to having another crack. Yeah, he's probably committed to the cause, is he? Obviously, doesn't mind playing against his his home nation and, and knocking them out of the home tournament. Doesn't seem to be. Matt, just on Suwali again. Can you remember the last one back to that young? And what role did you play in getting him to play for Samoa? Was it more until he is? Oh. Obviously, any good player, young Simone, we're keen to get. I mean, it was his decision. Like, obviously, I've spoken to him. I won't go into it too many times, but it was his decision, like for all their boys. So, but, um, as I said, like, he's got a remarkable career ahead of him if he can stay injury free. And he's got all the tools, he's certainly got the drive, and he's certainly uh, you know, he got his head screwed on. He's from a good family. They're all over here, which is pleasing. We've got a lot of. It's pleasing to see all the family over here. And um, just while you turn this on, I just want to give a quick shout out to all the Samoan guys that come and help us do a pose during the week. Sri Matangi arranged for about six or seven of them to come over, and it was unreal. Um, they turned up in droves, uh, so we, had, we were able to have a 13 on 13 a pose. So we really appreciate all you guys turning up, and thanks for your help. That one was for you too. How much better can this team get, do you think? We're building. But is it, do, you, do you think you'll need to improve from what you've shown today, which was terrific, for the next two games? I think if we improve on today, we'll be in next week's match, and I'm sure we will. Do you think you're back playing back when you I'm certainly enjoying it. When I'm enjoying it, I, I know I'm, I'm at my best. So. Pump your tyres up, bro. <laughs> Anything for your opponents today? How excited are you to play by Dave Patel at Redcliffe next year? Yeah, oh, to be honest, I haven't watched too much um, stuff on, on Tonga during this whole week. It's, it's more my preparation on how I can go to the game and uh, make sure I do everything at training to be at my best tonight and just focus on ourselves. Run for up, right? Pretty busted. <laughs> it's a pretty bruising encounter, so you'll probably re 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 reassess it all tomorrow. Grade 5 cork. But I think. Um, I don't think anyone's going home, put it that way, which is poison. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, whatever. All good? Thank you, thank you. Thank you. It was always going to be that. It was always going to be physical, it was always going to be close, and it was two good teams. So, uh, uh, we got a, exactly what we expected, and uh, yeah, we're obviously disappointed. We know we weren't quite at our best today, and um, you know, it's a bit of a missed opportunity for us, and, and that's what's disappointing. Say best, Christian, what, what do you think that was? Uh, as in, what did I see that wasn't at our best, or what? Well, both, really. Yep. Um, look, why, I'm not quite sure. You know, whether, the, uh, whether the occasion got to us a little bit at the start, or um, uh, yeah, what it was, I'm, you know, I'm not quite sure there. But uh, you know, in terms of what I've seen, that we weren't at our best, so I just thought that uh, you know, I thought Samoa beat us to the punch a little bit. I thought they... They defended with a little bit more speed. There were certainly periods there where they ran harder and um, you know, got themselves on the front foot by doing that. And uh, you know, we, we complicated that with some errors at times that uh, we don't usually make or you just can't make in that kind of game. So uh, yeah, it meant that we were on the back foot for a fair bit of the game. And you know, I thought we showed our class, we showed our ability and kept ourselves in the game through, through that. But uh, you know, to, be at our, to win that game and to go, go further in this competition, we need to be better than what we were today. What's the mood like amongst the guys? Oh, it's um, as you'd expect it to be. It's extremely disappointing. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of proud guys down there that are extremely proud of, of who they play for and who they represent when they put on a Tongan jersey, and uh, it means a lot to them. And uh, you know, that's why you see that fight at the end, and that's why you see the, you know, the the effort to try and win the game at the end there. And uh, you know, and it's um, you know, it's as disappointing as, as what you'd expect it to be. What are the flashpoints in your mind, mate, when you look back on the 80 minutes? Are there incidents, moments that stick out in your mind? Um, yeah, look, there's a there's a couple. I, you know, I, I letting um, you know, young Suolihi run through us in the second half. You know, I thought we need to be a lot better there. Um, you know, Jerome Luai was trying the first half. You know, I thought we need to be a lot better there. And uh, I could go right back to the first try. I, I just thought that 
we missed a couple of roles there in terms of you know our responsibilities and um, you know, when you're not defending well you don't get your share your, your fair share with the ball and uh, that was what we did and, and we just weren't quite where we needed to be on a number of those plays and they weren't the only ones but they're ones that stick out and um, you know when you when you don't quite get them wrong as I said you don't get your fair share of the ball and uh, it makes it hard to score points. Chris, you mentioned Young Swally, he's there and drunk. He would have done a lot of work with him this week, obviously. Um, Unfortunately, he's a player and the impact he had in that game. Yeah, he's obviously a good player. He's a big, powerful athlete and uh, he had a real impact today. And, um, and we need to be better on him uh, in terms of how we handled him, but full credit to him and full credit to the Samoan team. They, they played to their potential and... Uh, you know, guys like him really stood up and played well in a big game today, and, and they deserve a lot of credit there. Can you beat England? Uh, look, I think they're going to be a lot more competitive than what they were, that's for sure. And you know, if they they back up what they did today, and you know, they played aggressive, they played with line speed, they used their skill, uh, then they're certainly going to put themselves in the contest. And uh, you know, I would have backed us to go and uh, I certainly would have backed us to go and win next week. And uh, we weren't quite good enough today, so uh, I've got no no doubt whatsoever that Samoa are going to be right in the contest and give themselves a chance. Christian, how do you reflect on the tournament as a whole, given the talent in the squad and the expectations placed on the group coming in? I feel like we underachieved a little bit. Um, you know, I think we we certainly expected of ourselves, and, and forget you know expectation externally. We expected from ourselves that we were going to be playing in semi-finals, and we've come up a little bit short there. And you know, we wanted an opportunity at the big games. Um, we got the opportunity of a big game today, but we certainly wanted more of that. And you know, as I said, for that reason, I think we've fallen short of our expectations on ourselves. Richard, do you take a little bit of pride in the fact that what you guys did in 2017 was sort of inspired and paved the way for what Samoa and a lot of players, you know, pledging their allegiance to play for them? What you guys did in 2017 inspired that? I think it's something we can take a lot of pride from, yes. And, you know, on the back of 2017, International Rugby League certainly in a better place and it's certainly more competitive. and. You know, that's something to really look forward to going forward. and It doesn't take away our disappointment. Uh, we know what sort of squad we've got together. We know what we're capable of. and you know, we, we just haven't quite reached those heights this tournament. And, um, you know, we've got to learn from it. You learn more from losses. And, and we'll, we've certainly got a, a lot of things to think about and a lot of things to learn from going forward. You've got a lot of young guys that come into the squad as well now. In this World Cup, you must, you, so you must think the future is pretty, pretty bright, pretty strong. You've been a strong common side for a long time. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and um, yeah, we're a little bit, a little bit younger and, and a little bit new uh, this tournament from what we were five years ago. And you know, if the World Cup was last year, we probably would have would have been a couple more older heads in there. I would have would have thought. But uh, you know, the the young guys coming through are uh, exceptionally talented and really exciting. And you know, we've seen a glimpse of some of those guys. You go back to our first game against PNG. Uh, you know, Tolu Kola uh, did some really exciting things and. Uh, young Isaiah Katoa, he'd be, he'd be unhappy with himself over the, the first try today, but you know, he got himself back into the game. He defended really well after that, and he's only going to get better. He's an 18-year-old bloke who, who hasn't played first grade yet, so he's going to get better. He's going to get a lot of experience out of this game, and I think he's a, a real real player to keep an eye on uh, going forward. Um, you know, they're not the only ones. There's a lot of young guys in there, and um, you know, it is exciting. It doesn't Again, it doesn't take away the disappointment today, but it is exciting, and uh, yeah, we're not quite sure what's next. I know there's some plans for international footy next year and international windows and things like that. You know, where we sit, we're not quite sure just yet, but uh, what I do know is the future's bright and we'll, we'll certainly have strong teams going forward. Can you, tell, can you just tell us, can you tell where he's been doing his studying in HSC? He has been, yeah. He's, he's had his exams while he's been away, well, he's been yeah. Here, yeah. yeah it's, a, you know, it's a really good sign of the kid and what sort of kid he is. Um, he's been really diligent. He's... He's got a, a really um, a really good professionalism about him as a football player. Uh, he's got a really level head on him. The way he got himself back into the game after uh, you know, the disappointment of, of the first try, I thought was a, a really good sign of him as a player and him as a person. And you know, to juggle that with his HSCs while he's been over here is exceptional, and uh, he's done that really well. He hasn't played an NRL game. He hasn't played to put him, put him starting against Samoa in a sudden death final like that. Yeah, I had faith in him from what he's shown me. And, you know, what he's shown from the day he walked in in terms of the confidence he's gotten himself and the way he carried himself within the group and uh, you know, the way he trained and prepared and, and that all gives us confidence. So uh, I've got no doubt whatsoever that was the right decision and uh, you know, he's certainly going to get better going forward. Christine, you mentioned the schedule and in international fixtures next year. Like, is it frustrating you don't know 
when you're going to be playing next, and also if, if you were given a choice, what, what would you like to do? Was like tour here, play New Zealand in three series? What more would be best? Uh, look, what would be best? I'm, I'm not quite sure. There's there's a lot of things that I think would be great. I'd, I'd love at some stage to take um, Tonga back to to Tonga and, and, and play Samoa there, and I think that'd be outstanding. And um, you know, I'm sure Samoa would like um, you know like us to go to Samoa as well at some stage. So you know, I think that's some, certainly something that we need to look at. Um, you know, it's always great to come over here, and, and I know that the game over here needs international rugby league and thrives on international rugby league and yeah, that'd be great as well. What's actually best for us, you know, I don't know until something's put on the table. And yeah, to answer the first part of your question, it, it, it's frustrating, but I've been involved now for nine years and it's never been any different. And you know, I certainly hope that you know, going forward we can get past that and we can have a, you know, a suitable uh, international calendar that involves all the, all the teams and um, you know, and, and gives you know, teams like Tonga just as much opportunity as Australia, New Zealand, and England. What about the crowd and the atmosphere today? So, you know, fantastic for to see so many Samoans and Tongans. Yeah, it's great. You know, our fans are great. Samoan fans are great. Uh, you know, the passion that they provide, uh, what the team means to them, um, you know, it's great. And you, know, you can still hear the noise outside and the horns. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, what, you know, that's what our fans bring. Our fans are outstanding and, and we can't thank them enough. And people have travelled from... You know, all over the place, uh, you know, Australia, New Zealand, Tonga, <coughs> uh, America, uh, to come and support the team. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm disappointed that we couldn't get the result for them today. Uh, but I know they'll still be proud of our blokes and proud of our, our effort anyway. And, uh, you know, it's also important to thank the English fans that turned up. There's a lot of uh, you know, non-Tongan, non smiling fans there today. And you know, it's great that they've made the effort to come down and support what was a great game and, and a World Cup game. And, uh, you know, it's what International Rugby League's about. Oh look, I don't think you can look past Australia. Um, you know, they've won every major tournament in however many years, and um, you know, I know they'll be stinging a, fa a fair bit from a result, you know, our result in 2019. So I, I don't think you can look past them. But you know, I think all of the four teams are going to be really competitive. I think it's going to be a great final series, and you know, we're just disappointed we can't be a part of it. Thank you, John. No worries. Thank you, guys. <laughs>